Welcome to the Health Bulletin. We have some groundbreaking news to share with you today. Researchers in China are conducting experiments on a coronavirus strain that shares close similarities with the virus responsible for COVID-19. The study's results were shocking as it showed a 100% mortality rate in a small mouse study. Dr. Li Hua Song, a scientist based in Beijing and co-author of the new paper, played a significant role in this research. With training from the Chinese military, Dr. Song's expertise was a key contribution to the study. Scientists have cloned a pangolin coronavirus and infected modified mice to assess its pathogenicity. This study, published on BioRossiv, has yielded some surprising results. Out of the four mice infected with the virus, all began to lose weight five days post-infection. Shortly thereafter, they exhibited symptoms including sluggishness and white eyes. Tragically, all four mice died within eight days of inoculation. These results have taken the scientific community by surprise. Researchers then infected eight additional mice, euthanized them, and selected organs from four to analyze. High levels of viral RNA were found in various organs, including the brain, lungs, and eyes. While the viral load in the lungs decreased by the sixth day, but it increased in the brain. According to the scientists, this finding suggested that severe brain infection during the later stages of infection may be the key cause of death in these mice. The experiments were conducted on a mutant strain of the pangolin virus, known as GXP2V, short 3UTR. The results suggest a risk for the virus to spill over into humans. However, the scientific community believes that the research described in the paper does not seem to fall under the category of gain of function. This is because the Chinese scientists did not purposefully enhance the virus to be more pathogenic or transmissible. Instead, for their studies, the Chinese scientists utilized genetically engineered mice with lungs modified to more closely resemble human ones. The outcomes were not compared with other live viruses, such as SARS-CoV-2, which causes COVID-19. That makes it unclear whether the pangolin coronavirus is generally more dangerous than SARS-CoV-2, or if their results are due to the specific mice they used. And it's not at all clear from their results what might happen were a human to become infected with this coronavirus. The researchers called for more investigation of the high pathogenicity of the coronavirus and also said that their study offers a distinct alternative model for understanding the pathogenic mechanisms of SARS-CoV-2-related coronaviruses. Now you might be wondering, what does this mean for us? Well, while this study was conducted on mice, it gives us valuable insights into the nature of coronaviruses. It helps us understand their potential impact and how we can better prepare for them. So make sure to subscribe to Health Bulletin for the latest health news and updates. And don't forget to like and share this video to spread the word. Stay healthy, stay informed, 